Hello everybody, Stefan here and welcome to Mass Effect. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is an ancient game and what am I doing with it? Well, for the last eh, month I've been playing all of them, all of the Mass Effect, the whole Mass Effect series and yeah, mostly on repeat. It's very good i would say the game the this this series is amazing and yeah i really enjoy it uh this first game came out i believe 2007 but the first time i played it was actually december last year when i bought it on steam for like two dollar uh, euro i'm european two euro um, yeah, and I've been playing, playing it on repeat pretty much, and I've been enjoying it. Every playthrough is a unique experience, so I would like to record the whole thing. This is probably gonna be called something like uh, Stefan Plays the Mass Effect series or something. And yes, I know. As I said, every playthrough is unique, so when you play it, it's probably gonna be a different thing. The end result is gonna be different for you than it is for me. Um, yeah, it's basically the ultimate choose your own adventure type of game. Um, yeah. Let's let's just jump right into it. Welcome I've got to Alliance military data. I've got a bunch of DLCs on the further games. Requested. Let's see, let's create a new establishing secure connection. Yep. Secure connection confirmed. Lots of loading screens. I'm gonna go with uh, new ID. And I'm going to be playing the only class I haven't ever played, which is the soldier. First, I'm just gonna go for... Hmm. Sure, let's go for mail. Please log in to access your profile. And let's call ourselves Steve Shepard, because, yeah, that's close enough to my name. Send connection established. Perfect. Yeah, there's lots of loading screens, especially in the second Warning. game. Data corruption detected. Yep. Yeah, especially in the second game, there's lots Please of loading screens. I'm gonna history. probably cut a bunch of them. Let's see, I'm gonna be. I've only played with Earthborn so far. I want to see the other options. Spacer. Both of your parents were in Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from position to position, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. You were born and raised on Mindor, a small border colony at the Attican Traverse. That's not that dangerous, actually. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaying your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol, and you were enlisted in the military a few years later. And Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great metropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting in the Alliance military when you turned 18. So... I'm guessing the only difference between these uh, is some minor in-game quests but you never know because I know for a fact that the Earthborn quest uh, it, when you're an Earthborn there is a quest line with the guy from your old gang back on Earth but yeah we're not gonna think about that I think I'm gonna go for a spacer maybe Confirm psychological profile. and I'm gonna be uh, war Confirm hero military specialization and let's go for a soldier with a barrier Confirm sure facial identification and yeah let's go for the Profile default shepherd complete. 
Let's see. Steve Shepard, Spacer, War Hero, Soldier with Barrier. Perfect. That's Identification it. confirmed. Um, um I haven't played on uh Insanity. Last playthrough I went on hardcore. It was bad. Let's just say it was bad. Uh for the purposes of this playthrough, because I don't want to be repeating missions over and over and over again, I'm gonna go for a normal. Auto level up is off. Target assist uh, normal. Squad power usage active. Subtitles and auto save. That's it. Let's go. Lots of these loading screens here with the relays. Oh, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The base of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time, decoded... Uh, yeah, just basically mass effect. Fields are some dark energy stuff that enables faster than light travel. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. You know, pretty Your normal. Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. You saw a little glimpse of Shepard. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Here we are, Shepard. Port is green. Approach run has begun. And that's the mass relay, the thing that allows faster than light travel. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. And that happens somehow. With magic. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 hmm. is good. Your captain will be pleased. Hmm, yes, yes. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. I like Joker. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Now... Uh, there's few options the way you can play this game uh, you can be a renegade a badass uh, with lots of scars that can't heal because you're all negative and stuff a paragon the hero everybody is familiar with and everybody loves and just neutral I guess I've never gone the neutral way it's boring but I, I especially like playing uh, Paragon, just Renegade, I feel, I feel guilty when uh, saying bad things to the guys I like, to my teammates. Oh, I should have probably mentioned this, uh, if you're 
18 or don't like hearing bad words, maybe turn away or turn down the volume, just look at the pictures. There is some bad language. But yeah. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. No, they so don't. There's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Hmm. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. Oh, yeah. Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. <laughs> I can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> um, yeah, we're in game. There's a window here. Not much happening there. Uh, let's go and talk to the guy, to the captain. Navigator Ple Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Oh, yeah. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? Of course. All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Yep, I'll just look I'll into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up Let's see. Climbed out. It's not the kind of place spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Doctor Chuck was. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone. And that's right. Let's see. Let's speak to Nihilus. Uh, if you feel the camera a bit jerky every now and then, I... Oh, okay. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. So, to continue my thought, uh, if you see the camera shake a bit, that's not actually... Uh, a fr frame rate drop, it's in game for some reason. I don't know, I think it's something. The ground is a bit uh, jagged and the camera goes all shaky whenever Shepard goes over it. Let's see, where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Gorgeous. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Well, since you're a specter and you're asking me, it's probably not that great now. Probably was for a long time, then something happened. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Of course. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Obviously. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. And why with all the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. 
Um, yeah, so the Proteans are this uh, amazing alien race that uh, mysteriously vanished uh, 50,000 years ago, even though it was at the brink of its... Well, no, not brink. I don't think that's the proper word there. It was at the top of its evolution. So, yeah, eh, I'm glad you're here to help. It whatever. never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Whoop whoop. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Obviously. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh yeah. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Let's Just go. Word, Captain. We should Let's be getting go. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Sir? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Ah, yeah, goody. Something's wrong. Get down! Hey, Ashley. So blurry. Lots of gunfire. So much for that guy. So those are stunned. Whoa. Looks menacing and weird, but mostly menacing. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold it 38.5. Uh, yeah, 38.5. Status report. We're looking at 17 a bug. minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Yep. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Awesome. Let's see this. Getting stealth systems. Also, there's the... Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. There's the occasional voice the glitch operation, and sound glitch. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Of course you do. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Yep. We are approaching drop point two. Yeah, the game is very pretty. I don't like the interior of this uh, Normandy. And there we go. Awesome. Uh, if you're any other class and you're using the rifle, uh, you can't actually zoom in or use the iron sights. Those are target practice. Where's our other one? There's another one. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's get my abilities here. Squad, I got three points. Let's put 
one more in assault rifles and uh, two more in two in intimidate because I like no wait no not intimidate what am I doing charm I like to charm people let's see Caden um, you're gonna be the tank so here have a barrier and sure more on barrier and Jenkins I'm not gonna not gonna upgrade that guy yep bodies all over the place Let's see I got a, got a sniper not sure I want to use the sniper though Let's see, enemies. Because those are those are uh, those are okay with the player. They don't hurt you. The the weird flowing head things. Not these the pink ones. Okay. Whoa. There we go. Let's get in cover. My aim is bad. Uh, let's just put this here. What does this do? Okay, no, I want it. Only on four. And Jenkins died. That's why I didn't want to up upgrade his skills. Kind of useless. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Of course. Aye, aye, sir. Let's see, let's get the weapon up again. Yeah, these, as far as I know, these don't attack the player. They don't really... Oh, ow, ow, ow. Eh. There's these upgrade kits every now and again. And you can take stuff and upgrade. Let's see, I got. Yep, there we go. Hardened weave. And I leveled up, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Put one more point in charm. One more in assault rifles. And one more in combat armor. Caden, more in barrier, and here, I have one in sentinel. I'm just gonna kill those, just just have them dead. I'm, I'm one of those people that like to have to collect every collectible and break every breakable in a game. Get drones. There's one more somewhere. There it is. Let's see. Now, this is the pause thing. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. But when you press and hold shift, this pops up and the game is paused. And you can set up uh, different. You, you can give different commands to your teammates. So, for example, I can tell Caden to sabotage that thing. And he will do so. There we go. And it's dead. Perimeter clear. And perimeter clear. Now, it's very important to collect all the collectibles. Because they're useful. See, there's a med kit there, and might want to use that or collect that. Now, this game you get a bunch of med kits and a bunch of grenades to use at your own leisure. Another cutscene. 
Okay, he's got better shields, you can see that much. Whoop whoop. That's unfortunate, I guess. Maybe. Not really. Don't really care. Come on. Let's give her a hand. Go kill that one. And that one. Awesome. Sure you were. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Pretty much. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. <laughs> the others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your team? Where's the rest team? of your squad? Oh, we tried to squad. double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Nope. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? The Geth are the robots. The, the dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Come we on. could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Cool. Take some. Um, yeah. I've got armor piercing rounds and what was the the other thing I picked up? I'm sure I picked up something else. Was it the armor? No. Sure, I picked two things, but okay, whatever. Um, yeah. So the getter, those robots we just killed. And yeah. Sometimes. Let's see. Got, I'm not gonna use the pistol. There's this armor, which is. Definitely better than mine. Putting it on. Oh, it even looks okay. Remove the helmet. I don't like how the helmet looks on these. There's gonna be a lot of. Um, shoot, bypass. No, keep that. There's gonna be lots of uh, little nitty gritty stuff. Little picking up around the inventory in this first game I'm gonna try to not show it on camera because it gets really repetitive but sometimes I can't really help it and one thing you whoa one thing you might want to know about this game is that it's Can't concentrate. It's a lens. It's a lens flare extravaganza. You got all the lens flares. Okay. Clear. There's the dig site. Let's open the crate. There we go. Hey, level up. Awesome. And let's just look at this. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's look for survivors. Think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Let's go. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Of course you will. Um, let's see what I got here. Here we go. A better gun. And... Eh, 
Okay. Omnigel is the uh, hacker's best friend. You can just slap Omnigel on everything and it is going to hack everything you can ever imagine. I don't have anybody that can use the shotgun. And here you can have the striker. And you can put on my armor. Or, yeah, my armor is better. It's got more damage protection. Um, <laughs> see, do I got any of this? Nope. Okay, let's go. A little quick save. Yep. After, after playing so many. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. And there's the ambush we were talking about. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Well, it's safe to say they're now no longer human. Spawned. Yep. You should not allow, allow these to get close. Because uh, they kill your shields on the spot. Let's see. Uh, you don't have ammo in this game, you just overheat. See. Can we actually overheat the gun? There we go. And you can't fire it until it deheats. I don't know, cools down. Sure, take all. Let's loot the houses. Since there is nobody in there. Take all. Take all. One Omni Gel. And I can show you the override you just basically do a little frogger game and boom and you can open it like this thank the maker hurry close the door before they come back no worries don't worry we'll protect you thank you i think we'll be okay now it looks like everyone's gone you're dr warren the one in charge of the excavation do you know what happened to the beacon it was moved to the spaceport this morning Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. Of course. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Good to know. Good to know. What's wrong with this What's guy? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is yep. it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? <laughs> that might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Of course they will. Tell us about the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Yep. Williams, Pretty take normal. us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That's it. Let's go. I think I looted everything I can loot there. Let's take out the gun. Or not. And there's an Nihilus on the spaceport. Prob I should probably shut up. Saren. Hmm. 
Leonidas. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Yeah, right. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Yeah, you could just hear it in his voice. He's evil. Ooh. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Ooh. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. It's huge. You know, I've never looked at it until it disappears. down. Can't really snipe anything from all the way over here. I'm just gonna... Let's get that. Oh, no more shields for me. Okay then. Oh, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong button. We're good. Okay, I healed Kaden. I can't remember. Wait, 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 wait. Navigation. There we go, weapons. Wait, how do you, how do you melee? I can't remember, I can't remember how to melee. Am I, am I blind? I think I'm blind. Direct tactics hood. Okay, it's, it, that thing is called the tactics hood. When you press shift. Um, pom 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 pom. Huh. I guess there's no melee in this game. That's kind of sad. Pistol, shotgun... Yeah, no. No melee. Okay, then. Awesome. I think that's it. Negative contacts, Commander. Awesome. Let's see here. Also... Sorry, it doesn't hurt. Oh! Apparently it does. It doesn't hurt you in the next games. And let's override it. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it Good safe to know. Gone? Safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Uh, except for me. All around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. I like your hat. right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Yep. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Almost. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have Come something on. to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You know, that's uh, that's a violation of the law. Now I uh, now I have to shoot you. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Well, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're Hello. risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? 
Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Yes, I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. He works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Goodbye. I. Uh, okay. Cool. Pistol and a combat sensor. Not really the most useful thing. I could probably give it to one of my teammates. Oh, electronic skill too low. Um, right. So, probably you saw that in the while having a conversation, I had a blue a blue text line. That's why you put points in the charm or intimidate. In certain situations, you you can have you can access that. Uh, that option and uh, get some more interesting results out of your conversation. I just realized I haven't up upgraded Ashley. Oh, and I got more points here. Cool. Let's get more in the assault rifles. Combat armor. Oh, no more points. Two points in Caden. Um, let's put more points in his biotic abilities. And you're gonna be my tank. So, yeah. Let's drop down. Look around. Maybe find something interesting. Or maybe not. Let's see, there is Nihilus. Nihilus. Of course he is. A Turian? You know him? Of course I do. He's a Spectre. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Come on. Hey, out. Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. Being one of us. I'm sorry, I was hiding. Is not one equal as being human. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Dude, that doesn't tell us nothing. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He he called him Saren. I I think they knew each other. You're your one lucky bastard. Relax. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Well, no, it was in the back of the head, Just lucky actually. He see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told the Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. So how come they didn't how find How come you're me? the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Yes, you were. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. That's pretty smart. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Also, Cole mentioned you. contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My I supervisor's care. dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. 
Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. Yes. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Yeah, right. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. I like experimental technology. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Good boy. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yep. Cool, high explosive. Let's see. That's a grenade. Awesome. Extra damage. Let's remove your helmet and your helmet. Yeah, sure. Let's remove your helmet as well. How's my armor actually? Do I have anything better? No, okay. Um okay there is a bunch of geth here. Okay. Kaden. Throw him. Good boy. Okay. This is more fun than I thought. Using the the assault rifle. Ashley? You go there. Ashley. Ashley. Go there. And go there. Ashley. Ah, uh, fine, I'll, I'll tank it. Perfect. Come on, guys. Let's go. Okay, this guy's gonna be a problem. Or not, okay. Well, he was less painful than I thought he would be. I'm gonna, uh, for for this series, I'm gonna do like a mission per episode. Maybe. Maybe a bit more if the mission is too small. Ooh, good thing you threw him. Okay. Yeah, Kaylin is nearly dead. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Let's see. Dead. Okay, Kaylin is dead. This is where a sniper would have come in real handy. There's Kaylin. Can't really do much about him. A uh, fun thing about this game is though, even though your teammate is dead. Serpentine, Serpentine. Even though your teammate is dead, uh, you can just kill everything else in the immediate vicinity, and he's gonna he's gonna revive, basically. Let's put that thing as well. Ah, uh, one more. There we go. Ah, one more. There we go. And Caden should come out live now. There we go. See? He's alive. Um, got the stuff. Too bad his health won't regenerate. Yeah, that's the only... That's the only problem with the... Uh, early, early game. You don't have actually... Health regen on most uh, 
on most teammates. Ashley has health regen, which is pretty okay. But that's just about it. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I saw. Uh... And I'm guessing that's the beacon. Ooh, hello. It does something. Okay, the get is setting up charges. That is not good. Not good at all. It's a jittery move there. Okay, there is the first demolition, demolition charge. charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. There's one. Move. Next. Ouch. Ouch. Shooting at me. Oh, killed that one. So let's kill the shield there. Caden's dead again. Oh, there is a get. There is a get there. Beep. I think it came. Oh. I know where it came from. Ooh. I've got a new pair of headphones and it's uh, wireless. So when the battery is low, it beeps. I'm in the middle of killing Get, so I can't exactly plug it in. Okay. There's the next bomb. Got three and a half minutes left. There's one Get there. Okay, no. Okay. Let's only get... Ouch, ouch. That, that hurts. Gotta use the... Gotta use the health kit. Okay. I think... Yeah, this is the last one. And Caden's alive again. Awesome. There we go. Do a little quick save. Just have it. Open all the crates. Let's see, there's more get somewhere around here. Yeah, right there. Oh, this. Oh, oh, okay. Back. Stay back. There's another kit, uh, another dust. Yeah, Caden's dead again. Yeah, that's the issue with uh, early game. All of your teammates basically die after one hit. Storage locker. Yeah, most of the stuff you can uh, you can use Omni Omni Gel to unlock after some time. I don't know. I think, yeah, I leveled up again. Let's get one more point there, and sure, more more in there gives me more health. Uh, it gives me more damage reduction, so that's good. Uh, barrier. And let's go for decryption. Here. More combat armor. 
let's see what happens with the protein beacon. Maybe it will do the magic with me again. Just like with Normandy, Saren. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It yep. wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something Probably. must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Yeah, why not go to the strange alien uh, technology that nobody knows what what it's doing? And yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. Shepard! No, don't touch it. It's too dangerous. That happened, and I. May or may not have destroyed the valuable alien technology. Oh well. I mean, sure, why not? Whatever. There's the weird bug ship. Saren. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was hmm. under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Hmm. Anger management much? You don't say. Well, come at me, bro. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Yep, totally fine. No you worries. You're worried, there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. That's okay. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Yep. The I beacon killed the exploded. beacon. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Hmm. Yeah, I that's appreciate cool. it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed hmm. an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Well, there was a I saw. dream. Not sure what I saw. Death, destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to yep. hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Yep, Jenkins. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Why is Williams Chief here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Cool. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Pissed off the, I'm pissed off about the gig. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. So let's talk. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The 
Council's going to want answers. Well, I didn't good. do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's yep. a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. Woohoo! A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Special reconnaissance gone rogue. Awesome. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. The one I you were just the one the I broke. Constructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Oh, well, there was this dream. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Death. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. No. We need to but report close this enough. to the council, Shepard. Yeah, what are I don't know. Tell him? I had a bad dream. Sounds we sounds don't about right. What information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. Yes, he I did. I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. Yeah, he probably we are. From the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Yeah, he's... he's bad. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Right. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting yep. close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Cool. So, um, this has been the first episode of Mass Effect. Um, pretty good game. I don't like, I really don't like the Normandy SR1. It's it's a bad ship. I really hate it. It's dark, it's gloomy. There's about five lights in the whole damn ship. But yeah. So, um, I would like to thank you guys for watching. As always, leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah, see ya.